Hey Chris, it's John at Porsche Colorado Springs. Courtney's hiding over there. She didn't want to be on camera. Um, we just got back from a drive in the GTS. Uh, love the car, super cool. All kinds of great options on this one too. Um, GTS is the four liter V8, 453 horsepower. Um, it gets Sport Chrono as an option. So that gives you the extra drive mode selection. Um, the surface coated brakes. I think those things are sweet. The size of the caliper is hilarious. The, uh, the rotor becomes almost a mirror polish, so uh, a lot less brake dust helps keep those wheels clean. Uh, it's got rear axle steering, air suspension, and uh, the sport exhaust too. So I think that's kind of everything I'd be looking for. Um, really makes it fun. You know, I think in our Cayenne Hybrid, we've pulled like 1.2 Gs turning right or left and 1.13 the other direction. Um, and that's on all season tires like this one is. So with this, you should be able to dance even a little better because it weighs less. Um, around the back, you get the clear tail lights. It's part of the GTS stuff. There's the sport exhaust, um, then trailer hitch, 7,700 pounds of towing. Um, so you can also put like a, a bike mount on the back as well. Um, just a cool car. Um, looking around it, there's some stuff we noticed. Just want to show you so you've got kind of full transparency on it. The front end has a clear mask, runs about halfway up the hood. Um, on the front, it's picked up some dings. It's hard to tell if it's gone through to the paint or not, um, but just so you can see that, down here is probably the worst of it, little nick, and then just some little minor chipping on the, the grill surface. Um, so I think it lived on a dirt road, so it's probably, you know, a, a symptom of that. Um, paint overall, I think looks pretty good. There's some scuff marks here, maybe some minor swirling little spots where rocks have popped up above the clear mask and done a little, you know, just a little chip. But for a 40,000 mile car, again, I think it's it's held up pretty well. Um, a lot of what you're seeing there is just splatter from uh, the drive that we did. Around the door handles, there's some marks for, you know, gloves going in, little scratch right here, and then some paint touch-up work just done right there and there. You can just kind of see. Um, again, you know, minor swirl marks on everything. It hasn't been through our detail shop yet, so those guys will be able to make a lot of that better. Um, but, you know, I think some of it will still remain. Um, I think a couple of the wheels had little nicks in them too. I had talked, yeah, I guess Courtney's, my, my assistant is telling me it's just right up front um, on one of, the, one of the spokes around here. I don't know, I shouldn't drive them there, maybe right there. Um, so those are things we could probably have touched up. Um, if you know it's there, you'd be able to find it again, but you know, you really wouldn't be able to see it quite as much um, just looking around. Inside, um, full leather interior. So you get the cool stitching, kind of the two pieces coming together there. Same thing on the doors. It does have the Bose stereo. And then because it's all leather, we're able to do the ventilated seats. So the seats are heated and ventilated. These are the 14 way adjustable. So you get the lumbar support and seat length adjustment. There's a little bit of kind of some scratching on the black trim around the anodized aluminum stuff. Nothing I'd be too concerned with, but it's there. Let's pop around back to the uh, driver's side real quick. Seat looks good. Not really much wear forming on the bolster. Maybe a little bit right in here. Uh, 40,000, sorry, 367 for the mileage. Touchscreen all looks good. It's due for a tank of gas. Floor mats need to be cleaned, but it's too cold to really blast those off. So uh, maybe a little bit of some uh, like sunscreen here. Again, that's probably all gonna wash away once it gets detailed, but I want you to see it. Um, back seats. These are great. You get a, an extra couple zones of climate control with the Premium Package Plus. That adds more ventilation here. So for your pup, that might be kind of nice. The seats will kind of go full vertical and then they're on a slider. So let me set you down for a second. You can actually slide these forward to gain a little more room. It seems like the, uh, uh, the kennel should fit in back well. You might need to slide those forward, but you could still get, you know, an extra passenger on the uh, the rear side. It just kind of cuts into leg room on the back a little bit there. So, anyway, Courtney, anything else you think we need to point out? Yeah, awesome. I think we got. I think we did all right. So anyway, um, if you want to do a FaceTime later, um, let me know. But uh, here she is.
Talk to you soon.